The first fleet actually arrived in Sydney Harbour on the 18th of January uh, and they spent several days there before deciding that it wasn't an appropriate place to establish the colony. So they moved around into Port Jackson or Sydney Cove and it wasn't until uh, the 26th of January that the first contingent of convicts was unloaded. So this was just the men. It wasn't until the 6th of February that the female convicts were unloaded. Many people believe we should have a national holiday uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. But of course the symbolic significance of the 26th of January, so it's associated for Aboriginal people who of course had been in Australia for more than 60,000 years we now know, it represents their dispossession. So Aboriginal people call it Invasion Day. It's had different meanings at different times. So at the end of World War II, uh, the Supreme Court Justice Frank Brennan, um, who was based in Queensland, pointing out that it wasn't a very unifying day, but for quite different reasons than we'd imagine. He said it, it was a day that marked disunity and division because it celebrated the landing of convicts. And he said even though the convicts may not have committed any terrible crimes by modern standards, nonetheless, he said, how can we be proud of a nation founded on, on transportation? So I think that's changed a lot since 1946, because of course during the 1970s, uh, people started to become very interested in convict heritage and very proud of convict ancestry. I tend to agree with um, the historian Henry Reynolds, who suggested that a more unifying day might be May the 9th, which of course was the, the, the day that marks the establishment of the first federal parliament in Victoria.